Let's practically use the gateway concept here and let's see how we can find it, how we can install it, how we can activate the same and how we can also set the scheduled refresh. So now I am on to Power BI service and I'm searching for my report. You can see AW report final, which is my dashboard and the same is my report and the database associated with that. The purpose is that gateway help us to refresh the data so that is the reason if you see in front of this you'll notice one thing that we have a refresh option which we can manually refresh right now or the option along with this is known as scheduled refresh so you have to come down to this you have to click on this option and it will go to the next window and there the very first thing you need to set up is the gateway connection because until the gateway connection is set up and the data source credentials are correct, it won't activate the schedule refresh option for us. So first gateway connection and right now you have to first install it. The moment you click on it, it will start installing the same. It will start downloading the same. The moment it is downloaded, then we are going to install this gateway. Okay, so this gateway is downloaded. Let me just click on this to open it up and let us just start installing the same. You can also see all the steps that you have to take to install it. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. It's coming up. Now I'll not change the path or anything. I'll simply accept the terms of use I'll click on update okay so let's take few seconds uh, from now uh, to install it and couple of uh, things we have to also put in our email ID which we have used to access Power BI service as a credential. So the next screen comes in to sign in. Let me just click on this and here I need to put in the email address that I've used to access the Power BI service. So let me just put in over here. Okay, I'll click on next. Again, it will process the same. So it's showing me the pop up to pick up the account. I'll simply pick it up and it will start processing the same. So there we go. It says the gateway is online and ready to be used. I'll simply close it out and I just need to refresh this page, right? So I'll come over here and refresh it. If it has been successfully installed, it will show me a green check over here. So let's see. Right, there we go. And I'll expand this uh, gateway connection and you can clearly see over here. It says personal gateway running on desktop. This I'll simply choose this gateway and I'll simply click on apply. So that's the first step that we have done in implementing this uh, gateway and I'll go to the next step and you can still see that we are having some credentials issues here because if I go to the scheduled refresh I, I can't use it till the time I fix these credential issues so it's quite simple because what I have to do I have to simply click on this added credentials and I'll just need to click on sign in that is the only thing that you have to do nothing much needs to be done and it will simply accept the same. If it is showing you any error, it means you may have changed the path. Look at that. It's good. I'll go to the next one. Click on sign in. Next one, sign in. So this step I have to do. And this is one time step which needs to be done. Not every time. So almost done. One last one. There we go. Done. And now you can see the schedule refresh option is activated. And I can use it. Let me just turn it on and it is showing me the frequency of this refresh. So I'll simply click on this drop down. It says either daily or weekly. I'll go with the daily one and uh, the time zone is India and add the time. I have to add a time first of all. I want to say daily 
it should refresh 9 am right and it also says that send the refresh failure notification to a data set owner and also these contacts i can also put in the email addresses of the person who are concerned with uh, whom this error should go on to my teammates to my peers so that if they are also involved in this i can simply click on apply and now you will notice that uh, schedule refresh is been activated now if i go back let me just go back and to show you that where you will see the schedule refresh i'll go to my workspace once again and uh, i'll simply search for it let me just click over here and search for final there it is and you will notice something very interesting that in front of this aw report final the next refresh date is coming as 21st of february 21 9 am so next day refresh date is also coming here so this way this entire uh, refresh has also been set up and it will refresh it accordingly so i hope this entire procedure you have understood first we had to install the gateway once it has been installed that we have to edit the credentials once it has been done then we can successfully um, schedule the refresh now it will take care if the system will turn it it will be on at the time of the schedule refresh thank you so much